couple of beers that we've had come in during the week. Uh, so thanks for joining me. Uh, and if you're enjoying the videos, please give us some feedback or if you'd like to review certain things, uh, we'd love to hear about it so that we can create the content that you really want to know about. Uh, so you can see a little bit of the beers that we've gotten here, uh, some US, uh, some um, so mostly from Australia, um, and a couple from uh, Danish Brewer Eva Twin as well, but I won't go into all of those. Uh, I've just selected a handful of beers uh, to talk about today, uh, and they're kind of my uh, initial picks, and then I'll do another video next Tuesday at 5 p.m., uh, just highlighting some of the other um, beers that are here. So I'll uh, just kick it off on the very first one. The other one, uh, the first one is brought to us by Holgate, and this is their Millennium Falcon. Um, some of you who have uh, followed Holgate over the years might know the Millennium Falcon. Uh, it was released a few years ago, and it's typically released for the uh, for May 4th, um, and that's usually Star Wars Day, or known as Star Wars Day, and that's for May the Force Be With You. Uh, unfortunately, this has only just landed, um, and it's a few weeks after May the 4th, obviously. Uh, the reason behind that is because uh, Holgate had uh, some, uh, they had issues with sourcing uh, the 500 ml bottles that they use for this beer. And if uh, you speak to many small breweries in Australia and even overseas, uh, sourcing products from hops to bottles to wheat and so forth can uh, sometimes be a bit of a problem. Um, so that delayed the actual release of the Millennium Falcon. Um, and so we have it now. Uh, we've only got four cases allocated to us. Uh, with about a quarter of that stock already gone. So if you're interested in that, um, it's a very good beer, um, and it's named uh, Millennium Falcon, obviously being the starship that uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca um, fly in um, in Star Wars. This year they've mixed it up a bit. They used to have just three hops, um, and this year they've actually used six hops in it. And I'll just read. The hops are Millennium, uh, Falconer's Flight, Mosaic, uh, El Dorado, Citra, and Crosby Number 7. So if you're interested in that one, it's available in store and online. The next beer is one that I did a video about a couple of weeks when we got a little uh, present from Little Creatures when they were just releasing this beer. Uh, so this is their Hotchkiss 6. So Hotchkiss 6 is a domestic stout. And the little story behind this one, so if you followed Little Creatures over the years, they used to do single batch releases. And one of their single batch releases a couple of years back was the Dreadnought um, Foreign Extra Stout, which was about 7.4% uh, with uh, Foreign Extra Stouts having a bit more body, a bit more sort of roastiness to it and a bit more bitterness um, and a higher ABV. And the Dreadnought is actually named after a battleship that they used to use in the early 1900s around sort of World War I. Um, and those battleships actually used to have a, um, a six caliber um, gun that they used to have on board, and that was called the Hotchkiss 6. And so that's what the naming of this beer is from. So the Hotchkiss 6 is named after that gun that used to be on the Dreadnought. Um, so kind of continuing that progression of the story behind Dreadnought and Hotchkiss 6. Um, and this is a domestic stout. So I mentioned that foreign stouts are slightly higher in ABV and also um, their bitterness and, and their sort of roastiness. So this one will be a, probably a little bit more palatable if you're not really into your dark beers. Um, and uh, yeah, I recommend that one to, to try. When they moved from doing single batch releases, they literally did one batch of beer and they would release that to market and once it was gone, it was gone. About 12 months ago or 18 months ago, they moved to doing seasonal releases. So their seasonal releases are available for a three month period and then they move on to their next seasonal. So they do four seasonals a year um, and this is their release for winter. So the Hotchkiss 6 Domestic Stout. Next beer is from Boat Rocker. So Boat Rocker are based in Victoria, and this is a beer they call Epis. So Epis means uh, seasonings or spice in French, um, and this is a Belgian-styled spice blonde ale. Um, and if you followed the Boat Rocker story, um, I think they're actually a really, really cool uh, Australian brewery, and they're an upcoming one that have kind of gotten some investment, and they're really sort of looking to the future in, in terms of what um, other countries, especially the US, have kind of uh, done over the years, and they've kind of taken a progression towards that. And what I mean by that is they uh, really, or they got some investment about two years ago from the original original founders of Little Creatures, um, and using that uh, those funds or that investment, which took 33% uh, shareholdership of Boat Rocker, 
they were able to expand their brewery and create what's called a barrel program um, or a, and a barrel room. Um, and the idea with the barrel rooms that's very popular in the US is you need time because you need your beers to sit in those barrels for a period of time before you release them to market. And that's exactly what they do. So they've had a whiskey um, imperial stout called Ramjet that they've released over the last couple of years um, and expect to see more from those guys in terms of saisons, Aud Bruns, um, they probably even do more imperial stouts of different varietals and so forth. So Boat Rocker, definitely a brewery to keep track of and try their beers. That's the Epis, which is a Belgian blonde spice style. And the last beer I'll review today, or talk about today, is the Golden Era, or the Golden Ale from Pirate Life. So again, if you follow Pirate Life, they basically soared to stardom in the brewing world. Um, they've done some excellent releases, double IPA, a um, session IPA, their throwback, a pale ale, um, and, this, and an IPA, and this is their Golden, um, golden Ale. So this was released in collaboration with uh, um, hip-hop group Hilltop Hoods, um, so that's why it's called Golden Era, Golden Era Records, um, and it's their take on a golden ale. Again, the cool thing with uh, the Pirate Life beers is around the rim of the can, they basically put all the ingredients um, and the recipe and just the process of brewing. So um, if you're having this beer and you want to know kind of what they've done with it and what they've put in it, just have a look at the rim of the can. And that's it for me today. I'll come back on Tuesday next week at 5 p.m. Uh, so tune in, and if you like, uh, write some comments below, and you can also subscribe so that you get notifications as soon as these uh, videos go live. So the beers today, Millennium Falcon from Holgate, Little Creatures Hotchkiss 6, Domestic Stout, the Ibis Belgian Blonde Spy Style from um, Boat Rocker, and Pirate Life's Golden Era Golden Ale. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.